Thank you so much, Drew, and thank you everybody for, for having me. Um, I am honored to be here on behalf of Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Um, I am the Regional Development Director for MAD New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania. So for those who might not be aware, um, Mothers Against Drunk Driving's mission is to end drunk driving, help fight drug driving, support the victims of these violent crimes, and prevent underage drinking. Uh, we have been an organization since 1980. We have a national footprint. Um, as mentioned, we are very active um, in our region and specifically within New Jersey. Uh, the first prong and most important pillar of our mission is our victim services. We are here providing free support to any victims and survivors for as long as they need us. So that's everything from one-on-one, -on -one, group support, court accompaniment, anything they need, we are here to advise, guide, and offer them support. We, offer, we also have, um, through our national office, a 24-7 helpline, 877-MAD-HELP, <clears throat> excuse me, and it's, again, 877-MAD-HELP, and it gives a, an opportunity for whenever somebody needs a shoulder or support for them to reach out to us. Uh, we also have, as a huge prong of our mission, education. So we do provide researched based education programs to parents through our Power of Parents program and youth and teens through our Power of Youth program, uh, providing the tools and tips for parents to talk to their kids, as well as for us to um, provide that education directly to the students and to the youth themselves um, about the dangers of impairment. Um, education is critical uh, right now. Um, a lot of the population thinks, oh, well, the last couple of years during the pandemic, that the, uh, you know, people were not out as much. Numbers must be better. It's the complete opposite. Recent NHTSA report just came out um, that shows the numbers from 2020, and we know it's trending the same since then as well, um, that while vehicle miles traveled went down 11%, impaired driving fatalities went up 14%. Mm. The worst it's been since 2008, we are going backwards in opposite directions. So the need is critical. Um, more so than ever. And we work with wonderful community partners in law enforcement as the front line of our mission. Uh, we work to support um, ad advocacy efforts and legislative efforts as well to make sure that we are moving the ball forward and not moving it backwards. Um, and we can't do what we do without our community partners. And we have through a variety of efforts throughout the year, um, event opportunities and ways for the community to be engaged. So not only do, does MAD run our own events, but we're involved in events through community partners. Um, we are invited to events throughout the year. We offer third party opportunities. We are a presence, we are a resource for the community and we want people to know we're here and to reach out with anything that they need. Um, and we're also inviting everybody to join a couple of our upcoming events. Um, right around the corner, we actually have our New Jersey Walk Like Mad. Um, that's gonna be next Saturday, May 21st, Saddle River County Park, um, Otto C. Pele area. More information on that can be found at walklikemad.org slash NJ. Um, and then we're also bringing a brand new golf outing um, to New Jersey, and that's going to be um, in August. It's actually Monday, August 29th. Um, more information is coming on that as we're finalizing the contract. Um, but again, my information um, will continue to be shared, and you can find out all the details um, on that as well at mad.org slash NJ. Reach out to me directly with any um, interest or, or questions or information on any of that as well. Um, we do offer corporate partnership opportunities as well as um, a corporate challenge uh, where companies and organizations can earn points and recognition throughout the year for anything they do with us. That could be something as simple as sharing us on their social channels to volunteering at events to having us for lunch and learn just like this, um, as well as up through the partnership and the sponsorship. So there is a wide menu of opportunities. Um, and the most important, you know, takeaway that we want to have today is that we are here. We are here to help. We are here to support and we are here to save lives. So we thank you so much for allowing us to present today. I look forward to hopefully working with many of you um, now and, and in the future and anything that you need from us, please feel free to reach out. And, and thank you again for your time and the opportunity.
be remiss if I didn't ask Tara to let us know what she would like to resonate with the audience. Well, thank you so much, Drew, and, and thank you all for sharing your stories, uh, your expertise, and your insights. I've learned a lot from each and every one of you, and I have the pleasure of knowing Stephen now for many years, and every time, and I've heard him speak countless times, and every time it always gets me. So um, we just, you know, from my perspective, and I know from the MAD perspective, it's um, just in general is to uh, be smart, be safe. Um, I like how Jeannie talked a lot about um, educating the youth. I know everybody touched on that. Um, the youth is the future. And I think we all have to be cognizant um, that we are helping not just ourselves, but helping everybody around us. You can control what you do. You can't control what others do. And the way to be able to mitigate that or best plan for that is to really be sure that you're aware of what you're doing um, actions, like Jeannie said, to speak louder than words. You got to sometimes lead by example, not just by what you say and, and, and all of that too. So I think it's really just making sure that we're communicating, we're thinking of others, looking out for others. And if nothing else, what these last couple of years with pandemic taught us, we have to be safe. We have to take care of everybody around us as well as ourselves. And I think we'll all be leaving a better legacy for everyone to come. Absolutely. Well, if, if I could summarize, we have to think about that dash in between our birth year and our death year. We need to think about those little things that are important. We need to live in the moment right now because that's what matters. And I'm trying to, you know, I'm, I'm also teaching my children, and maybe it kind of ties in with this, that in life, we don't win and lose. We win and learn. If we can allow ourselves to learn from a situation that didn't turn out the way we expected, then that's gonna help us. And we can help our kids learn how to learn from um, difficult situations. So I thank you all for being here on our insights of shaping, on shaping your legacy and its impact on those you will leave behind. And you people will certainly leave an amazing legacy for those you leave behind. So thank you very much for coming.